Hi friends, so this video shows how to bypass factory reset protection in Redmi smartphones. So first we need to hard reset Redmi smartphone. For that we need to press and hold power button and volume up button like this. Press and hold for 10 seconds. Then it will reboot. After that you will get a display with no command label like this. So now you need to press and hold power button and press volume up button once. Just press and release volume up button like this. Now you can see there are a couple of options. From here, you need to select this wipe data or factory reset op option. We can select this option using volume up and down key. After selecting that, you can you have to press the power button to confirm the selection. Do the same thing here. Just select yes, then press power button. Now you can see in the DAO. It's formatting data, formatting cache, and data wipe complete. Okay, then press all up this. Uh, you can you have to select this reboot option, reboot system now. Then press power button. Then the system will the phone will reboot again. So now we have completely completed the had reset so after had reset after reboot you will get a display like this here uh, select uh, start tap on start then we need to select the wi-fi And enter the pass username and password. So now Wi-Fi has connected. Now it's checking for updates. So you can see two options: copy your data, set up as new. So I am going to select set up as new. Tap on this. I was checking info then you will get a display window like this so here it's again asking for the password so here you have two options option one you can click the bottom link use my google account instead if you remember your google id and password you can click on this link and enter the Google ID and password. So if you don't remember your Google ID and password, then you need to bypass factory reset protection. So for that, we need to install two APK files. Then you need to add a new Gmail ID and password. Using that new Gmail ID, you can unlock the phone and you can use the phone. So that is the idea. So go back to the first screen. Then tap on emergency call. Then tap on emergency information. You have to tap choice here. Here you have to tap on this edit icon, then tap on add contact, select one contact here. So you need to insert a sim with some contacts, then only you will get this contacts here. So if you are not inserted sim, 
this uh, this trick will not work so make sure that you have inserted sim select one account then that account you can see here tap on that then here you need to tap on these three dots and select uh, share then select the messages app messages icon just tap and hold then select the app info option so we are doing all this to open a uh, chrome browser okay so after once we open the chrome browser you can access one link and download the required apk files so tap on app info then here tap on sms app then tap on opening links then tap on youtube go then tap on this youtube go icon then tap on app notifications then tap on additional settings in the app then tap on about then tap on youtube terms of service okay now you can see the option chrome and mint browser so we did all these steps to get this option okay just select one of the browser i am going to select the chrome browser then tap on just in, just now then accept continue next no thanks so here you need to enter one url This is a URL tiny.cc slash frbbp. So just go to this URL. So you will get redirect to one site from download FRP bypass and Google account manager apps. So this is a site. So in this site just uh, go down there you can see um, frp bypass app and uh, google account manager first you have to install google account manager then frp bypass app that is the order that is important so let me download this Google account manager tap on download now it's downloading open the file so you need to uh, allow this allow from this source just back then you can install the downloaded apk file now it's installing google account manager tap on done next, go back uh, next we need to download and install frp bypass tap on that tap on download this is a small file UMB. Install APK file. Okay, then open it. Here you can see it's asking for a password. Uh, you don't need to enter anything here. So what you have to do is in the bottom 
of your phone there you can see three buttons right in the right button you have to press and hold the right bottom button button or i mean the sensor that is it uh, press and hold then you will get this uh, browser side in option that tap on that okay then you need to enter the email gmail id and password the gmail id and password of your new gmail account enter the password you can give any gmail id and password okay back go back to the uh, first screen the start screen okay in the start screen then tap on the start button then tap on set up as new next we can see the add gmail id here tap on next then tap on not now then skip anyway then no thanks then tap on more more accept so at this point if you at any point you can restart to the phone then continue from the start it will work okay hello you can see the phone has unlocked we have bypassed password reset protection now we don't need a password to access this phone i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe my channel Please like and share the video.